Hey, hey, everybody. How y'all doing? This is Sui Sauce at Sui Sauce Presents. And today what I'm going to do is get into uh, showing multiple workflows in Studio One. Uh, this is Studio One 5. So let's keep it moving. I already got it set up where uh, I set my measures so, and my tempo. My tempo was at 133. And so this is one way that I do it. <clears throat> I go to instruments and I select the instrument, uh, any instrument at all. Let's stay for right now. Let's go into personas. So we know that you already have this. It comes with uh, personas. So I'm going to select something. I just uh, went to personas, personas, however you pronounce it. Went to my tie, and now what I want, uh, chords, sounds, bells, bass, or whatever, heavy artillery selection, lead, pads, you can select. You can select this way. You can come here under my tie, under your personas, under my tie, and select here. Or you can take the My Tie um, plugin, which comes with Studio One Five, and drag it over. And now it pulls up what you call the goo. And everything I can find over here, I can find here. Okay? So you have, um, and it's not about teaching you My Tie. But I'm just saying, basically, <clears throat> the same thing that I was telling you over here is over here. So I click right here at the default, and you can select bass or whatever you want to start off with. Or, so, um, I was about to say, or this is telling you the instruments, the physical instruments that this is connected to, or can be. So, but anyway. That has nothing to do with what I'm showing you right now. So <clears throat> I'm going to collect, select um, chords. Let's see what this sounds like. Okay. And I got to, you know, my thing is I got to fill it. Um, so. So I'm just selecting my sound. And normally, what I do with this particular workflow, um, and I don't even have a name for the different workflows, it's just that I do it. I normally select uh, keys, but it really doesn't matter. You can do it any way you want. Certain things just give you a vibe. And these are pads, and that's kind of soft for me. So, I really would like to start off with more of a keyboard or something, maybe. I'm going to go to lead. That's cool. Okay. I went to the lead. Let's see another one. Oh, that's cool, too. So, I'm going to go with that. Okay. So that's what we're selecting, the instrument. Sound powerful. I like that. So now let me hear it um, with the loop marker on. And that's the loop marker. That's me hitting the key. And this is your loop marker. You cut it on, on, off. So that's on. So I'm going to hit <clears throat> play. I'm not going to record. I just want to hear my tempo, and I want to kind of make up something, okay? So, yeah, so I'm feeling that, <clears throat> and that's a minor chord, you know, F minor. 
so I got my tempo going and then if you hit this button uh, right here this is the pre count it allows you to pre count and so I'm gonna hit it hit record and it'll count me in then I'll hit my pattern Okay, so that's it. <clears throat> so I recorded it and stopped at the end. Um, this is I'm going to cut that metronome off. <clears throat> And so <clears throat> you can go over to the edit where you can actually see the track and see what your MIDI look like. So I just clicked on the edit over here. It's actually under my picture. So the edit, you got the edit. So I clicked that, the one that's in blue. Okay. So I'm going to put that back down. It don't matter. Let me go up here today. Okay. <clears throat> Let me make it. It's okay. Uh, hey. All right. So, where was I? And I don't know if you can see it, but on the grid... If you notice, they're not right exactly on. And that's what give it a vibe. Don't have to be right on the mark every time. And then sometimes you can put it on the mark. You know, so. And if I wanted to put them right there on the line, what I'll do, I'll right click, select all, and then I can bring them over slide it just drag it over but right now i'm not going to do that i'll see if i need to do it after i set my drums so now um the and this is also in studio uh, one impact this is the drums so i'm gonna take impact and i'm gonna drop it right there however and that's this the drums right here and However, what I'm going to do now <clears throat> is pattern editing mode. So on your quirky keys, that's like your keyboard for your computer, you hit control shift. And what I do, I'll make sure that my I'm lined up at the beginning. So let's go all the way to the beginning right there. And so I hit Control shift p and that's how you bring up that's how you bring up your pattern editor <clears throat> you use your pattern editor with drums um, that's what I do uh, and so what I do I drag this out however you set this up especially if you're doing a double time and, and that's normally in trap music and a lot of the new genre music it's just double the time so when you want your snares or hi-hats to roll faster they can and what I normally do I set this up at 32 sometimes 40 that gives you the distance of how long that drum pattern will go and then I uh, take that right here Put it on one eighth, okay, and that's every all. These are all the instruments, and they're set at one eighth. So there's no instruments on there right now. So what you want to do? You want to be a baller, shot caller. I don't know that's Bama. And so you can go to the default right here, and they and all of the 
uh, plugins that comes along with Studio One. It's basically the same. You can go to as far as loading up your equipment, which you want to use. So these are different drum patterns. There's multiple ways you can load, load drum patterns, pattern, load drum, not patterns, but drum kits onto these pads, okay? And I'll show you that, or I may have a prior tutorial, but if you want to know about it, ask me about it, and I'll show you. Okay, so what I'm getting ready to do now is select uh, a drum kit. Uh, let's see. Chill hip. Just, I just want to hear what it sounds like. It ain't fat enough for me. It ain't kicking. So let me select something else. Um, and I can add my own kit if I wanted to. I'm going to try again, try to find another kit, kit, and that's what we're going to go with, so I don't waste no more time. Okay, let's see. Um, come on, see. Come on, soy sauce, hurry up. Um, hmm, I don't see nothing I want to use. Because I'd normally grab them from other locations or different kits, but I'm showing you this particular uh, way to go. So, without further ado, I'm going to just keep it going. So, I'm going to select something. I'm going to select a kit. Uh, forget it. Um, go on. Hopefully, it's a good one. <laughs> I just don't like that. Uh, let me see. So it's too electric. I need to find more of like a acoustic set, maybe. It's a reggae fundamental. I'm going with that. Got to keep it moving. All right, so let's just go. Um, back it on up now. So listen. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is do my drums. And as you see, once I selected uh, what I wanted to use, they load it up here. They all load it up. And that's not such a bad kit. And so now what I can do is, I don't need these pads. I don't have to mess with this. So I'm going to just, hmm, I'm going to just move this out the way. And start creating my pattern through putting, filling in the blocks. Okay, so let's just listen to them. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm think I'm gonna do the snare first. Now, because I, I heard my instruments, they were off a little bit. That's me. So I'm selecting them all. And I'm going to drag it to...
get a better timer. That's cool. Let's see. I'm hearing it. I'm listening for the timing. Okay. Let's try. Bring it on. And if you have a love for it, then it's no big deal how long it takes to do what it does, what you do. You just do it. Mm -hmm. That's like an extra note that I hit by mistake. I could delete that. Okay. Hey. Dun, dun, dun. That's called a turnaround, you know. Um, so now, <clears throat> what I'm going to do, uh, let's, let's do some more drums. Come on. Come on. Go to the kick. Yeah, so now what I think, I'm listening to it. I think I want the, the drums to be uh, uh, not the same. I want I want it to be changed. So, because this is just looping. I want more within the loop. That's the best way to put it. So I'm going to take that and change it to 48. So let's see what I got. That's gonna give me more room. If you can feel it, people, other people can feel it. Mm. So now I think I want, I want the the hi hat is tan, what I call it, tan. But uh, this little thing here. A quick way you can do it, you can go up here and click. You highlight this section, you go up here and click, and it automatically comes there for you. Yeah. Or 
uh, I could do this one. already grooving a little bit. And I'm going to take that crash and put it at the end. Uh, let's see. Oops. Let's see. Okay, <clears throat> that's enough. Sometimes you you don't want to fill it too much. You don't want to fill it up too much. So that's the drum kit. And what I'll do later is I'll take these, since these are all on one track, I'll take these and split them up. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Uh, however, now I want to go back to the instrument. And we're going to stay in my tie. Everything that you already have on your um, uh, Studio One, I'm not going to go outside and select a whole bunch of other stuff that I have. Okay, I'm not going to do that. All right? Keep it right there. Because a lot of times I'll do it, other people do it. And it's like, Dang, won't you show me with what you're working with, what I got? I got that too. That's why I'm here. If I got, you got Studio One? Five, I got Studio One Five. Can you show me? Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna show you S using the same instruments. <laughs> but I swear I got some effects that I wanna flip it with, and I might. I'm gonna try not to. Okay, let's see. Some effects that's not Studio One. Um. So now we got that up here. Now let's solo that. Now, okay, we know what that sound like. Now, I'm going to duplicate this because it's, it's, it's a pattern. Duplicate, complete. So, I duplicate it and complete. However, um, what I'm going to do different is it's still my tie, just my tie one, my tie two. Now, it's my tie two. So, in my tie two, I'm going to keep the same MIDI midi chord pattern and change the instrument and that's something you can do this is a particular type of workflow as I was saying okay let's see this we already know what that sound like so I just want to solo the new one and I'll let the drums play
See, I'm trying different things. And so these are just, I'm going to just keep it real simple for all of this stuff over here. All of this. It just makes what you're playing in my tie, because this is part of it, sound different. You change the different oscillators, it's going to give you a different sound. Sometimes what you can do is just go ahead and touch, touch a particular knob, turn it all the way up and all the way back. See what it do. And then that's the way you can learn. Learn uh, um, what it does and if that's what you want to mess with. Now I'm going to let it play and I'm going to show you. Oscillator. And to me, that's pretty cool. That's some of your highs. You want some bottom, you want some middle, and some highs in your instruments when they're playing along. And then you want them to be somewhat different sometimes from one another, but the same. So you know there's an exact same key. So now I'm going to play this. And watch, watch what you hear. I'm going to play them all. So just with that the original one. So let's hear it. Hey. Yeah. Okay, you feeling that? So, and I can, okay, I like what I got there with it. And let's go back to solo on it. And let's see. Those are the different waves, like they, you hear square wave and all that. This is square wave. It drops off. It drops off. And now maybe I w might want some of that sound panned. It got a pan. So let's see. See? It's different. See? Sometimes you want to do that. Because basically you want your kick and your snare up the middle along with the vocals. And everything else off to the side. And the kick, the snare can be off a little bit too. To the one on the side. But the kick you would kind of like want that up in the middle. And the kick and the snare and the vocals, you want those about the same level as far as um, uh, close to the same level higher than all the other instruments so you can feel it when you create this type of music. So now I I put that over to the side a little bit. So let's see what it sounds like. And then it's not gonna be as loud. So I'm gonna turn it down. Cause high notes peak out, st stand out lower than, uh, louder than lower notes. It's just loud. <laughs> The level. See, you notice this particular level, because it's in the oscillator, it changes the sound and the tone of it. 
So <clears throat> I'm not going to change that level from here. I'll change the, that level from here. So it'll sound the same. Okay, now that's cool for now. <clears throat> so now I'm going to duplicate it again. Duplicate this one. Duplicate. Duplicate shed. Uh oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. Come here, over here. I'm sorry. Bring it in there. Come here and right click and duplicate com track complete. Okay, now you got a third. Now I'm going to highlight it. And this is when you go and find your bass notes. So what you do, you go to the editing tool. So you hit, um, go to the edit. So you can see it. And I'm going to move this out the way for now. I could stay here and select that instrument, but I'm going to move it now. And so what you do, you go ahead and this bottom note, although it's high, this is your lowest note out of all of them. This is, this is higher. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do, I'm going to take, bring it, let's bring it so we can see everything. Bring it all closer. You can drag it here, or you can come here to this line and drag it in, or you can come here and take it. And let's see, for example, if it was already spread it out, you can click this and manipulate this line. I'll, I'll show you all that. I'm not trying to get too far off track what I'm doing. So, so what I want to do is remove, keep the lower note and remove all of the higher notes. Remove those. That's me hitting and stuff. Delete. 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 And delete. Delete. So, and then you don't want that many bass notes. However, now we can go back to my tie, to the one that we're on, and come up here to where it says my tie, and let's go look for bass, bass, so let's see, this is bass. Sound like booty. Right. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Sound like booty. I wonder if it's l loud enough for y'all. Because I did turn the music down. Hold on. I hope I ain't messing y'all up, because I turned everything up a little bit. Okay, let's go. Uh. Sound funky to me. I, you know, I'm a, 
bass player, so I like bass and stuff. So anyway, but keep with it. So now I'm gonna look for like a So you can go here instead of going down. I'm just looking for something that sound like sub. Now I have subs and everything in other places, but I'm just staying, keeping it simple for you. Low. See, this sounds like a, a sub. Okay. Okay. The volume is quite low. So, you can go to your mix, and I'm still on that one. And you're supposed to label your tracks. I just didn't did it. I just didn't do it. I'm being lazy. Um, and also, you want to go over to your tool and make sure you have input control see for example you don't see the little knobs up here but you want the input control now you see it that's like without touching your interface you can turn turn your stuff up here see I turned it up that's like the mix tool that uh, used to it's still here but you don't have to use it as much or at all before you would drag the mix tool over so you will go over into your effects let me move this you will go into your uh, effects and you would type in mix tool M I X T there it is see and you would draw drag this mix tool and this mix tool is also a volume control. Say, for example, I'm at see, but they added this where it's already here. So okay, so just wanted to show it to you. I don't plan on using it. <sighs> However, now let's go back to the MIDI for the bass part that we set up. And then you want to select all, right click, select all. And then on your quirky keys, which is your keyboard keys for your computer, you can hit um, arrow down. Okay, that's where it started. Now go to the octave of it. And then you say, what's the octave of it? Okay, for example, you see where you are right here? Right there? Okay, so you, you want to go to the lower one. Okay, so like I say, arrow down. And now it's lower. Now, let's hear what it sounds like. turn it up so I can hear it. <clears throat> Play.
see what I'm saying. Oh, I'm just tripping. So, that's one way you can do it. But I'm not going to keep it all loud like that. And I know this ain't the thing kind of loud, baby. Okay. And then, you might not want all of the notes. You might want to make one higher than the other as far as key. Like. Now, I got, I, I got way better deep stuff than this. I'm just messing around. But that's just showing you. Okay. Buh, buh. That sounds corny. That's what's up with that. And then, hey. Okay, that's one way of doing it. And I don't know how long I've been doing this because I've been telling you other stuff and didn't not keeping to what I was supposed to be. Uh, so that's one uh, a way of doing it. And then I also told you that I was going to show you how to take these this drum pattern. You right click on it and you go to um, instrument parts. I right click and then you go to convert patterns to parts. Bang. So we then converted it. It changed. See the way that look? It changed. So now what I'm going to do. What's on that squeak? Now what I'm going to do is right click. Go down to the same place. And. Instruments. I converted patterns to part. Now I'm going uh, to uh, explode pitches to tracks. Bang. See? So now. Here they are, individually. So now, they're still highlighted. Now what I'm going to do, because technically, now you got your different tracks. However, in the mix, see that say rim, and it's telling you which each one is now. Now, uh, you go to the mix, you don't see, you don't see a, um, Fader, these are faders. You don't see the fader for it. So you right click since they are highlighted. You right click and you say bounce selection. So and what this is going to do is take it from MIDI and take it to audio, turn it to audio. So now it's bouncing. So let me know that I'm clipping like a mutter mutter. But I'm just showing you something. I'll, I'll turn it all down. Yeah, but you don't want to be clipping. That's real. And so here they are, the four instruments that I had. So they are these squares that popped up. Those are volume knobs for these. So what I'm going to do is gain stage it and already turn it down. I'm going to turn it down. Turning them down. That's the drums that's going to be turned down. And so, let's hear it. Okay, so that's, that's that. And then I can 
um, when it's in uh, audio when it's an uh, audio file that takes up less CPU uh, 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 power and so that's telling me I can go ahead and remove the my tie instrument and it's still gonna sound like the each individual ones that I had it sounding like I mean I'm sorry not my tie but impact where I created the drums so I guess was this is that one let me just bring them down these is the oh cuz it mutes the original and see this is the um, wave showing you this that this means audio and the one that look like keyboard means MIDI so these are the MIDI instruments that I had in impact and so I can uh, highlight them click the first one and then hit shift and click the next one the one at the bottom and then I can right click and then I could say um, remove selected tracks and instruments bang see ya and this is what I have bang hey. mm. Now, I'm going to show you another thing real quick. <clears throat> See, I'm showing so much in this one way to do it that the other workflow I might have to show you later because I don't want the video to go too, too long. So, what I just did was, this is the Ranger tool. And then I, you have to take the pencil tool and drag up top. And now, what, it's going to be able to arrange all of this. So now, go back to the Earl tool, and if I click, right click, and hit, now I'm up in this Arranger section, and I can hit Duplicate Shared. Bang. So it made me a second pattern right here. Okay? But what I'm going to do is show you a trick. Now, these are all instrument the the instruments so let's just hit it I'm a solo 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 and you know they in a particular key so this is the key that they're in come on Hold on, you're going to see the trick. You're going to see the trick. You're going to be like, okay, wow. And it's more ways to do this. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, watch this. So now, what I want to do is like, okay, that's going like it's going. But I want it to change. I, I want to, I want this keys to change so you go over to velocity and go into transpose and what I did was right click I highlighted the three because they all in key transpose so I'm gonna click this and I'm gonna hit three and that's three higher and so let's hear it Watch this. Hey. Oh, hey. Fire. Hey. You see what I'm saying? That's gonna hype that's gonna hype the crowd. You see what I'm saying? Cause it's starting off like that. Hey, hey. Hey, then when they come up in there, when the when the rappers get on stage or whatever, and then they go on like this. Oh, 
Oh, but don't forget the drums. Watch now. Watch me. Okay, it's going to go like that. And see, like in the beginning. Now, let's, 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 okay, that's cool. I'm going to leave this like this. I'm feeling this. Now, I want another Mai Tai joint. I want another Mai Tai track. But now we got this Mai Tai, this first one. And that's the lead. So I'm gonna I'm gonna name this now. So let's like a um lead. You know, we a B. It's the lead. Keys like. And then this is the highs. What's the highs? And this is The bass, which you can barely hear, <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. And so, I'm just going to take this top, top. Let's see. That's my phone. Let me see. Let me just see what this one sounds like. The bass by itself. Okay, so what I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna take this. Uh, let's hit, let's hear the high one first. Cause what I'm gonna do is arrange it right here a little bit so you can hear what's going on. Okay, so I'm gonna duplicate this one. I'm gonna duplicate this one. The high one, duplicate. Track complete in the high two. This is what I'm gonna use. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back into my tie. And what I wanna do, you gotta have something soft or belly or something different. Um, let's see. Oops. I just want something to be something that will come in. Okay, yeah, I kind of like that. It's going to be okay. Okay. It's just for the beginning. Uh uh. Yeah, I'm going to use this one. I'm gonna use that one. Okay. Okay. So, t you can turn it up here too. Now let's go. T let's go to the eraser. I mean, the mute tool. So we're gonna start off, and we're gonna mute some stuff. Um. No, let's do it. Okay, let's unmute everything. Remember, this is a different uh, uh, key, key. Track is in a different key. So, I just want to duplicate this first one. Duplicate. Shit. Bang. There you go. That's the one that's in a different key. And if I want to rename it, you can go over here and rename them. Okay. So, but that's not what... Y'all know what's going on. That's all that matters right now. So this two is going to be the intro. I'm going to use this because it's soft and smooth. And so everything else around it, I'm going to cut off. So it's, it's going to come in like this. Hey. 
And I'm I'm listening for what percussion I want to come in with it. <clears throat> See. <clears throat> See. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my cut tool and I'm gonna go here and maybe here halfway. And then I'm going to cut that because I want that to play by itself. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go to the mute tool and mute this part. And so what happens is it's doing this little mellow thing. Okay. Mute tool. So it's just that one and that one playing and I can actually delete these because I'm not going to use them so it will be coming in like this yeah <clears throat> see what I'm saying so and I also can take this one so I can hear that pop so I'm going to go to the mute to unmute that one. And this is going to pop. Then it go into. Mm. Right. Okay. So, and then this first one also, you can put some, put some more stuff to it and make it ambient. And <clears throat> let's see. Let's, let's see. I'm going to go to, I'm going to stay in. I'm going to stay in uh, um, Studio One, and I'm going to go to, let's see, Loops in Studio One, stuff that comes with Studio One. Uh, I'm looking for, I'm looking for like a rise. So, let's go and select Loop, and I'm going to select Rise. R I S E Riser Where you at? I do I do I have a riser? Yeah. Okay, now let's listen to some of these risers. You taking too long. I know that's loud. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it sounds like that uh, that trap that spells different. That's that uh, what do you call it? Um, EMD type of trap. But I just want to rise. Or I just want to rise on it. So let's see what we get. It's going to sound different. I'm going to just let you know that already. Yeah, so it just shows that it's a transition. <clears throat> You feel me? So yeah, <clears throat> so that's how you bust into that. Bust into it, baby. Yeah. Okay. So and like I said, you can delete these. Delete. I don't need you no more. Delete. 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 And although it's saved, delete. Although it saves on its own, delete. You want to save periodically, delete, save, delete, 
Uh, okay. File, save. Okay. And so, then up, up, in, up in here, you can also, so it don't be boring. Um, let's see. Um, let's go back to loops. Let's go look. Go to search and put vote for vocals. Click on the vocals and see what we got down here. Uh -huh, let's see. We're in F. So let's see. Yeah, let's see. F is cool. So <clears throat> it don't even matter to me. Because I'm just vibing. Don't matter. So. See, so what I what I'll do, I'll just cut it off. I don't want this first piece. To be, you want to let it hear what you're doing right there. Okay. So okay, let's go check it out. sauce on the track yeah that's what's up <clears throat> but that's one way to do it and then I can keep on arranging and f finish creating it and stuff like that um, put a hook in it and change transition take away instruments add instruments but I went too long for this one so I'm gonna just show sh this is one way to do it and then I'll come back with another one so that's what's up this is Suey Sauce at Suey Sauce Presents. So I hope y'all like what I showed you. Um, so holler back. Please like, share, subscribe. And that's what's up. You got any questions, just hit me up and I'll answer them. And I want y'all to check out D Speller new video, uh, Manipulate It. So, and I hope you like that. And hit me up, let me know what you think. Because D is doing the daggone thing, you know. And CML, both of them are getting ready to come out with a track and a new video on top of that we get ready to roll y'all that's what we doing here at Sui sauce presents and i like to give a special shout out to uh the product um he's doing his thing he's, he's getting ready to come back into the fold and be a, a producer to some of the music and stuff so that's what's up shout out to the product all right, y'all. So this is Sui Sauce signing off as Sui Sauce presents, and uh, I'll see you on the flip side. And like I always say, be woke, not wokeish. Holler back, y'all. Peace. <laughs> I ain't know what I was getting ready to say. All right, y'all. That's what's up. Peace. <laughs>